Hi ladies, there's something we have always wanted to share with you about the care and maintenance of your garment. Just little things, tips and tricks that we think are really important for how you maintain the best life for that garment. And first we want to share with you how you should care for your knits. I recommend that you always fold your t-shirts and your sweaters. And the reason is that you can get a tremendous amount of growth in length when you hang them. The double V T hair has been hanging just for one week. And then this second t-shirt was just pulled out from being folded. You really can see that there's a tremendous amount of growth when you hang this garment. And hanging your t-shirts can create this lump in the shoulder of your fine knits, whether it's a sweater or a t-shirt. And another tip, we always recommend that you close any garments with zippers. You are always going to want to launder them and store them completely zipped. And the reason being is that a zipper has teeth and it can damage your fine knits. It can scratch and make runs in any other garments that you wash it with. So next, let's talk to Chris and she's gonna share with us how to care for your garments from the package to your closet. Okay, so I just got a brand new Lido jacket. Let's take a look. Okay, when you get a new garment, you're gonna want to take a look at it, give it a once over for little things. So for example, any cabby jacket, and really any jacket you get in the marketplace, often comes with the vents tacked shut, and that's to maintain its overall shape during shipping. But that is not a design detail, you're gonna wanna clip it. Make sure you pull out all those little threads, so now your vent is good to go. In addition, a lot of garments with welt pockets are gonna come basted shut as well. So here on our fresco dress, we have these cute darling pockets. In some cases, you might want to keep them sewn shut. That gives you kind of a longer, leaner line. But in other cases, you're gonna to wanna to stick your hands in. So you're gonna invest, if you haven't already, in a great little seam ripper. It's a very inexpensive tool that you can get online and that will help you very carefully open up the basting stitch without snagging your garment, making sure to get all the little threads out. There you go. And now on to the great debate, steam versus iron. And here to answer that question is Charlotte. Okay, so the whole debate is iron versus steamer. Steamer is the way to go. It doesn't flatten your garments as you're steaming. Iron will do that. We in the design team like to start steaming from the inside out. It just gets these little side seams so nice and flat. See how it just gets rid of that crease. I travel twice a year for focus group and I steam iron the collection three times in a week with this steamer. I can do about 100 garments in an hour. I got this on Amazon for $39.99. Do you guys even iron anything? I literally steam everything. I'll use a straightening iron, like a hair straightening iron for my collar and cuffs, but otherwise just the steamer. Looks like my jacket's ready. So there you have it, some of these tips and tricks that might seem obvious, but they make a huge difference in the maintenance and care of your garments and the look of these garments as well.